Hello, lovelies. It's you here from Go to Third Tarot, and I'm here to bring you another titled message. I hope this message is funny. Blessed and full of abundance is always my sweets. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Blue lace agate. It is easy for me to express myself. I am understood. I hear what others are communicating. Speak the truth. Listen well. Have the courage to say what you need to say. Be heard. Read between the lines. And again, that's blue lace agate. Blue lace agate. Anyway. I'm really getting here that somebody here is being guided. This green adventuring. Oh, yeah. And with this lapis lazuli, 100%. Someone is being asked here to ground themselves. Sorry. Someone here is being asked to, is is being asked to ground themselves. Leave that alone, please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For some kind of like upgrade here, I'm getting that with this initiation by fire, and then look spiritual service. Somebody here's pathway is being enlightened before them. Somebody here is going through like a an awakening. Definitely. Look, the magician and the full card and the four of wands. A hundred percent. Ground yourself as you're going through this awakening, as you're going and opening yourself up. Yeah, you're going to be learning a lot of really exciting things. Um, so with this ten of wands here, I heard knowledge is responsibility. So be be aware that knowledge is responsibility. Keep an open heart and an open mind with that Queen of Cups back there for all the possibilities. There's some kind of tool or something, some kind of ability or tool or something that's about to come in. It could be new. Six of Pentacles. Something out here about having the grace to put yourself in others' positions. You're also, I feel like you're going to be put in a position here to, I don't want to say cast judgment because that's not it, but you're going to be put in a position to, it's kind of like knowing who's right for the job or knowing who's the right person to choose or knowing who who was for you and who is not who is for an idea and who and who is not like what what is going to help yeah i'm hearing that you're going to be right like you're going to be your situation or your status is going to be raised so that you might give back to others so that you might in turn raise others I'm getting that whatever this is, you're getting that because spirit has faith in you that you will do that. There might be um, a feeling here that maybe perhaps like you're not ready for this temperance. Spirit is saying that what is owed, I'm, I'm hearing this, what is owed must be repaid. Things are going to be balanced out. There's some kind of inner peace, inner harmony here that's about to be restored to you. Some kind of balance, some kind of energy is coming is coming back to you. I keep on being drawn really a lot to like the gold veining here and this. And then I can't help but notice that pyrite is here as well. And with that pirate, also known as like fool's, fool's gold, right? I'm getting like, don't be distracted by pretenders. But there's something here about being able to manifest, to manifest in something very powerful. Cosmic heart, cosmic Christ, yeah. Um, Christ consciousness could be really closely working with you right now. Jesus, okay, or Yeshua, or...
could be like an ascended master that's working with you really closely right now. Eternal now. Yeah. So God is about to breathe something into your life. Yeah, I just keep hearing that like something that was taken away is about to be replenished or is about to be given back to you. Trifold, I heard trifold, like initiation by water, by fire and by water. And with that, I'm getting something is going to burn away. I'm getting like the tower energy, like something is going to burn away out of your life. And then like these cleansing waters are going to come in and replenished and replenish what was lost. Or if you've go gone through like this kind of tower moment, spiritual service, again, here spiritual service is coming out. Somebody here could be really deep Akashic record diving. Look, that's so funny because that's what I was seeing with the like waters washing away. And then look, the star, waters washing away. Someone here might be given a vision. They could be given a vision around like, you could be taking a spiritual bath. You could be traveling. You could be over water. You could go and visit a large body of water. You're going to be given something. And it's, and it's going to, I'm hearing like keys jingling. You're going to be given something here. It's going to be returned. And look how it's like this energy is flowing right into your third eye chakra. You're going to receive like a really, really important download about your spiritual service. About what you're supposed to be doing here. I'm hearing what's the next step. Yeah. Look, an invitation to connect. I told you again. Someone's channeling abilities or um, doubt, like the level of downloads that you're about to get is about to like really skyrocket. Um, so you could be having a lot of like DNA code activations, light code activations happening right now. Again, this initiation by fire. Resurrection of the golden light. Yeah. Again, look at that position of like this person like looking up and look the like the gold burst rays. It's kind of it's really again, it's almost the same exact thing over again. Devotion, yeah. So there's something here, like a message is gonna be put on your heart. And you're gonna be so grateful to receive this message. And I think whatever it is, like you're going to gladly, second ray of wisdom, exactly. You're going to get this download. You're going to get this knowledge. And I feel like you're going to gladly step into this, to this role, to this position. Intellectual knowledge again. Yeah. And this knowledge is going to make you shine. It's going to make you bright. It's going to awaken something inside of you. Spirit wants me to look this up in the book. There's something here. Soul child. You could be reawakening a certain part. Again, like I'm saying, there's some kind of like something reawakening, like a something inside of you activating. An invitation to connect. Yeah. 42. Past life activation. Yeah. A heart transmission. Exactly. Past life activation and a heart transmission. Um, again, like I said. Something about what you're supposed to be doing here or what path you're supposed to be walking. The fifth ray of intellectual knowledge has come to you as a spiritual gift. You are being ble you are being given the ability to find information you need under sorry. Let me slow down. <laughs> I'm so hyped up right now. Find information that you need. Understand systems that impact your life and find clarity in any issue that has seemed unclear or overwhelming. Exactly what I said, right? You're just going to, like, you're going to know. 
like somebody definitely here is getting a brand new upgrade that is helping them. Right? Know the right people to work with, the right things to invest in, the right thing to give your time to. Like it, it's going to become very clear to you. You shall seek, uh, sort the truth from lies and learn what you need to know. Hello. I should have just kept writing one more sentence. <laughs> Archangel Raphael now assists you in, in integrating the beliefs of the fifth ray. Yeah, discernment is not judgment. I didn't I say that. I was just like, you're not you're not asking to be judgeful or something like that. Yes, discernment is not judgment, but it but it does allow you to make informed decisions based on frequency. Exactly. You're going to get an upgrade on being able, you could uh, upgrade and be able to read auras or like instantly be able to read people's intentions, whether or not a person is for you or not, whether or not it is for you to help a person or this person is someone you should take with you on your path or someone you should leave behind. Like it's going to become very clear to you. And unfortunately, I do think that that does mean not to break, not to talk, speak on the negatives of the situation, but I do think there are going to be some people who are going to turn away from you. But the only people that will turn away from you are people who have been able to deceive you. And they will no longer be able to deceive you. So you will not be for everybody because there will always be people who seek to surround themselves with people that they can easily deceive. This is not a loss, Spirit is saying. This is not a loss. Yeah. Discernment. Yes. I'm seeing the seven, the seven of cups in my mind. Discernment allow helps you to navigate through illusions and find the real gems. It helps you step back from those who say they want to support you, but who actually just want to take and to not give in return. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Wow. The fifth ray helps helps you to choose wisely and sever unhealthy connections. This ray also comes to you when there is no when there is more to something than meets the eye. Yeah, you are gonna need to have the spirit of discernment. A very strong spirit of discernment is gonna be coming in. So spirit is saying that when it starts to come in and when you start to have those energies, don't doubt yourself, right? Don't doubt yourself. Now is not the time. Now is the time to have faith in yourself. Do not doubt yourself. And when you get those little niggling feelings, when you get the, that little feeling like, I just, I don't, I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. It doesn't sit right with my spirit. You are going to be gifted with the power of discernment to know the difference of when fear is talking to you, when your ego is talking to you, or when it is your deepest knowing and intuition of what is to come. Ooh, somebody here might be getting like premonitions. Authority within me. There, some of you have fears of doubt within yourself because you doubt your ability to have some kind of th authority. You might have, you might have grown up, or you might have had a lot of dealings with people who are gaslighters. Who, in the past, you might have. For those that this resonates with, in the past, you will have had these feelings before that people have spoken and been like, you're crazy, you're out of your mind, you don't know what you're talking about. Even when you know in your gut, it's like, I don't need you to confirm it, I know. And there's something here about that driving people crazy, like, especially liars, like, it's like this ability, like, you can't gaslight me, you're not going to gaslight me, and I'm not going to be emotionally, I'm not going to be emotionally stirred around by this BS, right? Like, I, mm -mm, I smell it, mm-mm. Take that, mm, you can take that bullshit elsewhere. Self-care, I'm doing me right, yes. So that's Matt Miller, self-care, like absolutely. Switch the time zones, what do I know? Yeah, hitchhiking, where will I go? I can fly home with my eyes closed, but it'd be kind of hard to see, but that's no surprise though. Yes, so even though like you'll have your eyes closed, you like, you will see you there's something here about seeing in the dark seeing being able to see and being able to decipher absolutely 
Where will I go? Uh, yeah, there's something here about like where I'm going. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, so there's this energy of like, oh, I got all the time in the world, so now I'm just chilling. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful feeling. Like, it's a beautiful feeling. Like, wow. Like, there is like a, an, an awakening, a, a knowing here. It's like this, like, un, unwavering, unshakable faith kind of energy. If you have had, we all have our struggles, right? And if you have had struggles with wavering faith, there is a tower moment in your life. And that's why I'm reading. It's not like a moment of fear. It's a moment. It's like a big moment of just like, wow. Like it's, it's, this is really happening. It's really there. Like there, there are no more fears. There are no more doubts. I don't have doubt. And it's like, I can focus on that. There, there's no, there's no need to waver back and forth. I know. Right. I know. I don't just believe I know. Yes. Yes. Okay. If you do not honor this, you may try to pull people from their own path, which can cause unnecessary struggle for them and unnecessary karma for you. Yeah. So let it go. You know, if there are people who want to walk away, if there are people who distance themselves from you, if there are if there are things that start falling away at your life, don't cling, don't hold on to them. No, right? I know that I can manifest in something new. There is no need for me to hold on to something that doesn't want to be here with me because I know that it will be replaced with something that will be overjoyed to be here with me right now. And it will always be the right now, the right time until it's not. And then I will let it go and it will still be. And it will be the right time for something new to come. It will always be the right time. Something there about that divine timing is, is yeah, you're going to be in the flow. And it's going to be coming in. It really is. Yeah. 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 Come on now. Let me just try to pick this up the way it landed. Look at that. The Hierophant, the Emperor, the Ten of, of Cups. I'm going to say Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm hearing that with great knowledge comes great responsibility. So there is, you know, devotion. Spirit is saying, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you. Devote yourself to this path. Are you a light worker? I do, I do think the answer is yes. I do think the answer is yes. Earth healing. Yeah. Oh, uh, y'all. <laughs> if you have been wondering if the spiritual work you are doing is making a contribution, take this oracle as validation that it is. What? you are doing matters. Yes, you are you are going to expand and grow in the work you are doing and the impact that you have in the world because you are capable of that. But you are already helping in ways that you might not realize, but that the earth and the spiritual worlds do. You have loved the earth enough to take human form and do your work here, light worker. She knows it, and she will reward you richly for it. Keep working, shining, and growing, dear one. Your presence here is so needed and honored. Wow. Wow. What also? May the beings of unconditional love who assist the anchoring of a loving rainbow bridge of light upon this earth for the greatest good of all beings be empowered and invited to do so now through my own free will so it be yeah light worker you are definitely definitely changing the patterning of the you're, you're changing things here dark angel You definitely could be meant to walk. You definitely could have had a very uh, heavy, like, karmic or heavy, like, shadow period here. They're showing me that the, the hermit card again. 
1111, messages in the numbers. Pay attention to the number sequences. 1959, I just saw. Uh, 2002. So definitely pay attention to number synchronicities. Dark Night of the Soul. I was just, yeah, you could really have been helping a lot of people or helping. No, you are something about whatever you're doing. Devote yourself to this path because they're a unwavering faith, right? There might have been this. Is it really making a difference? Am I really doing something? Am I really, am I really making way? Am I really walking down my path? I feel like I'm stumbling. I feel like I, you know, I'm doubting myself. There is no need to doubt. There is no need to doubt. Arms of light. Yeah, there's something here like something here is gonna come to light. It's gonna have you just being like, wow, this knowledge soul child. Yeah. Look at you just basking in this light. I I just heard miraculous healing. Miraculous healing. Of harmony. Yeah, again, with the temperance energy here. Fourth ray of harmony, balance. Restoring harmony and balance to you. Spiritual decree, yeah. It has been it has been decreed that it will be yours. It has been spoke or spoken. That's what I'm hearing. It has been spoken. Orbs of light again. And again, Archangel Raphael again. Definitely healing energy here. Spiritual healing. It's a big spiritual healing. Healing inner child. Creative intelligence. Again, more creative intelligence. Uh, again, a transformation here. Look at this. Look at this ascension and transformation here with the butterflies. And again, soul child again. Wow. This is giving me big like Ace of Wands energy, like a like a big soul rebirth, yeah. And being sent on like a spiritual mission or spiritual path, yeah. It's giving me Page of Wands energy. Okay, the truth, the strength, yes, to make the choice that you need to make. It is a part of your. Like spiritual decree, spiritual destiny. It is a part of the soul of your soul contract. Here's that. Here's that Ace of Pentacles we were talking about. There is a truth here that is going to give you the strength to make a decision, to make a choice, to choose to walk down a particular path, and to choose to accept help or to choose to accept. Like your mission. Yeah, I'm hearing that like dun 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 like mission impossible where it's like your mission should you choose to accept it. <laughs> Is this this message will self destruct. Yeah, so it's kinda like if you Yeah. Except God said I won't disavow you if you don't do it. <laughs> I won't pretend like you never existed if you don't accomplish it in this lifetime. However, like I'm really interested in this. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Thank you. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. It's something that God always knew that you would figure out. It's a lesson that God knew that you would always pass, that you would always figure out because it's your justice for this to come about. But you've been very defensive about accepting this truth or accepting this mission. Uh, yeah, accepting this truth about yourself. And it really is like you're way more powerful. You're way more strong than, than you then you realize it's almost like you've been like operating at half capacity. You know what they're giving me? They're giving me like, um, uh, was it Captain Marvel where they put that little device on her that like keeps her powers like in, in check so that they can actually control her. That's what it's kind of giving me. <laughs> I just heard one of your answers to say, give, give all the rest of these hoes a fighting chance. Come out. it. Come on now. Look, it's the will of fortune. Like I said, it was divine time. It's time for this to happen. Two of cups. Somebody here is about to receive an upgrade. King of Wands. Discernment. Who's right for you and who's not? Because the energy is here. 
the energy is here for for some tomfoolery. There's also a lot of room here for merriment and celebration. <laughs> How comical. Like, Spirit just showed me, like, you at a party surrounded by, like, a bunch of people and, like, people. And, <laughs> and there's a bunch of, like, people and spirits and a bunch of other things there and, like, God's there. And like you're sitting there and you're like having a drink and then God comes and sits beside you and they're like and he was like, I told you I'd get you. It's like, you know what? You have I was on the fence. You were right, God. I was on the fence for a little bit, but you really pulled through and like you really you really got me thinking. You really got me believing this guy's like, I knew I would. I knew I'd get you. Yeah, like you were really defensive for a while. Really defensive. But the, it's like, man, I don't know if it's like miracle, like miracles moving in your life to like Things are coming to an end. There's some kind of peace here. It's like this incredible peace that comes to you. It's close. It's really close. Eight, Eight of Pentacles. You've worked really hard at putting up a lot of walls. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. You've worked really hard to put up a lot of walls. For some of you, it could be the type that um, that seeks external validation through overachievement, through people pleasing. You know. Or you could be eaten up or riddled with malignant shame about not having something to show that certain people might agree with or that the current paradigm might tell you if you don't have this you're not doing anything if you don't have that nobody really cares about you But here, though, though it's been slow to come, it's it's here. Empress. Ooh, we. Empress. This is your justice. So don't miss out. It is some kind of information. Yeah. Yeah, use your spirit of discernment to know when when it's appropriate to make those those leaps of faith with that full energy. When it's appropriate to be in full energy and when it's appropriate to back off and really know what you're doing, you know. It's all it's always important to know what you're doing, but I don't know. You might get around some liars or something like that and people you might just start developing some kind of sense of like like smell or like bad taste in your mouth or something like that like you might actually start getting like very physical reactions to people who aren't good for you like start paying attention to your body and pay attention to that like spirit's going to be really showing you like what's really not for you and what you gotta walk away from like it's because it's going to become very obvious to you Yeah, Spirit's going to have it, like, right in your face. Like, right in your face. Not yet, but again. Some of you need to work on making sure that you're not... That when this comes in, you're not you're not doubting. And you're having... You're having like, I know. Like, I know. 
there is a no wing here. But there is the again, but there is this, oh maybe I uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm doubt maybe I should doubt myself. But what about those other times when everybody gaslighted me in my life and you know and left me out in the cold because mm -mm. Yeah, this is coming. This is coming to light. The truth about all those get about the truth about this abandonment wound or this that you have here. It's not a loss. That's what I'm hearing. Like, it's not a loss. That doesn't mean it's not painful, but it's not truly a loss. When somebody walks away from you from walking for walking in your truth, for loving what you love, for doing what you do, for being who you are, whatever choice this is, that spirit is asking you to have faith in yourself and to walk forward in that faith that this is your destiny, that this is why you're here, that you are making a difference. Spirit is putting a mission on your heart. It's, it's bringing your mission back into acute focus is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Oof. Is this something that you've been going back and forth this, that's kind of been hidden to you? And you've had this push and pull dynamic with, yeah, you haven't really, you've been on the fence. Again, I was really on the fence, but... Now I've really made a choice. I've really made a decision. Exactly. Chariot. And I'm going to get into this chariot and I'm going to go forward. And the chariot has been driven forward by this person's will. I will do this. I will this to be. So I'm putting my, my energy and my focus and my understanding and my knowledge. I'm putting it into this and driving forward towards that goal or towards that focus. Yeah, this is a, a this is a calling for like a, a ending and a resurrection, right? Yeah, I'm getting like a, like it's time to wake up, like it's time to wake up and it's time to passionately start chasing after those things. Oh, I got you. They. I'm not even gonna lie, you do have ops that don't want you to succeed. I'll tell you that. But it it's not a loss to let these people go out of your life. Let them go. Let them stay gone. Yeah. Wisdom. You've already learned this lesson, so walk in faith by it. Again, restore harmony and peace on all levels. Deflect unwanted or unhealthy vibrations. Break unhealthy energetic cords. Uncover unconscious beliefs and patterns. Exactly. These unconscious, very deep beliefs and patterns. Okay? So it's like, what do you really know? There is a hidden truth inside yourself, something that you have built your being around, that something that you hold to be true. And it has taken the place of what is really true, who you truly are, what your purpose truly is, your, your true magnificence as a soul being. I am a clear channel of love, light, and well-being. All of my heart's desires are realized now. Yes. Somebody, somebody has been trying to trick you into believing that you are simply an illusionist. No, baby. You're the real deal. It is the illusionist pointing their finger at you. The real deal. Ooh.
doubters. It's like doubters will be silenced, and the doubt that lives within you that is that these people are truly reflecting. These doubters, these people are reflecting your very deep internal doubt of self, doubt of truth of who you really are, of why you are really here, of what you are really supposed to be doing, of your ability to accomplish that, to know, you know, and there is going to be a harmony inside of you that is going to be, that is going to be realized. This is self-actualization. Oh my goodness. Hold up. Sorry about that. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, it is easy for it is easy for me to quiet my mind and maintain awareness. I can find inner peace. And again, when I heard quiet my mind, I saw the sev the seven of cups again. My mental and emotional bodies are balanced. I attract nurturing people. Exactly. There's some kind of healing that is going to take place within you. A healing, a self actualization, a a. Um, I'm hearing two become one. Yeah, so I'm hearing like a wholeness is going to be restored within you. Y'all, I am always at the right time, at the right place at the right time with the right people. That was That's just what I was talking about. I think like being in sync, being in the flow, right? I know who to work with, where to go, where it's always being at that right time, right place. It's almost like Spirit said, I'm going to make you believe in magic. Like, I'm going to make you believe in magic again, is what I heard. I'm going to make you believe in magic again. Just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah. Develop understandings of various cultures and spiritual philosophies. Yeah. For some of you, yeah, like I said, for some of you, this is going to be like this, like massive, like downloading of knowledge. Like you're going to be like, how do you know? How do I know that? For some of, I know this is going to sound crazy, y'all, but for some of y'all, y'all are even going to start understanding languages that you didn't understand before. Or you're going to just like be able to pick them up. Like, so, like, you're going to be drawn to them, and you're just going to be able to pick them up really quickly. People are like, how are you doing this? It's like, I don't know. It's like, I already kind of know it. How do you know where to go? How do you know what to choose? I don't know. It's kind of like, I just already know. I don't know. Whew. Sorry about all the interruptions, y'all. <laughs> Maintain an organized approach to life. <laughs> I'm certainly trying, God. I'm certainly trying. Support physical strength training. Increase time in sunlight for a healthy body. Amplify physical movement to increase good health. Yeah. Get in your body. Something here about getting in your body. Re yeah, it's going to help you release heartache, grief, and sorrows of past relationships. Yeah. So there's a big energy of getting here into your body, getting grounded, getting into movement and some kind of way or movement training. Okay. Spending more time in the sunlight or upping your vitamin D uh, levels, okay? You might be being, like, supported as to go, like, to go away for a little bit to, like, a more, like, excuse me, like, temper or warm climate, somewhere where you could be outside in the sunlight. My body and mind are in balance. I am healthy. Calm mental chowder and clear confusion. Take steps to gain a new perspective on life. Increase emotional balance. There's something here so deep about, about increasing, like increasing your physical and emotional balance here. Open your heart to love. Feel unconditional love and support. Bridge the spiritual connection. Bridge. We were talking about building a rainbow bridges here earlier. Yeah, bridge the spiritual connection between heaven and earth. Increase romance. And that's followed by Garnet. Stop procrastinating. Increase self-motivation. Maintain focus, determination, and success. Stay grounded and focus on the path to achieve, to achieve success. Right? Keep going on your path forward. 
with a clear mind and clear conscience and clear body, knowing that yes, you are you are on the path. Like you are walking down, you are on where you you are where you were supposed to be, right? That I am in the right place in the right time with the right people. That might be an affirmation that you might want to start. You start. You might want to start adding in. Okay. Again, release anger and increase harmony, reduce inflammation, improve inner knowing and calm, increase mental clarity and emotional balance again. So delight. Oh, yeah. Release anger. Yeah. Clear thinking again. Again, they keep showing me that seven of cups. Like there's something here about there's something that's blocking like your clear thinking. Yeah, a tower. And a tower moment is about to happen to to remove that thought process from within you. I just saw the the um the justice card. Be patient, spirit is saying, be patient. Or, you, or you've been very patient while you've been learning your lessons. Patiently waiting for you to learn your lessons. For you to release this anger and increase your harmony and mental clarity so that you can receive even clearer downloads. Yeah. Yeah. Anxiety. Fears and anxiety have been blocking you from receiving exactly which direction you should go in. Fear and anxiety of what? Of when it's going to come. Of when it's going to come. Of where you should go. You, It's the very fear and anxiety that you do not have a direction to go in that's stopping you from seeing your direction to go in. Ace of Pentacles. Like, you already have this Ace of Pentacles that's going to create this Ten of Pentacles. Like, you just need to ground yourself and ground in to... To to and release and release this. Find harmony and peace inside of yourself. There is something about here about releasing something out of your body, like having like a big emotional release through finding more like body body positivity or body. Yeah, look, there's that page of wands I was talking about. Yeah, this is the lesson. This is your next lesson to learn. So if you've been guided to do something, move your body, some kind of body movement, body weight training, diet training, something to do with your physical health, pursue that. Definitely pursue that. Yeah. Master healing. Exactly. 33. I told you there was an ascended master here that really wants to really is working with you. Really, really, really. I'm definitely hearing Yeshua really strong for some of you. First ray of power. Yeah. There you have an ascended master here that's about to start working with you really closely to help you to really see the value of the work that you do and see the value of where you were going. In this world. And the things that you will create. Because there's this kind of like. I just don't know. I just don't know. It's, it's that kind of energy. Ascension. The rainbow bridge. There it is. Yeah. It's really close. You're at the nine. 18 breaks down to a nine. Seventh rate of ritual order and ceremony. Yeah. I'm hearing you're at the precipice, 44, 11, with the fourth ray of harmony and balance, yeah. I'm hearing like, yeah, again, you're at the precipice of this, of this, uh, yeah, path, past life activation, definitely. So there is some kind of meditation or there is some kind of something, something that you're going to do here. And it's going to unlock this. It's going to help you to heal inside of you again, like I said, some kind of Akashic Records trip or something. You're going to have it and there's like, like there is this memory 
there's this past self, a knowledge from your past self that wants to come forward and wants to be grounded here into this reality key of light. Absolutely. It's, it is your key. It's the key you've been searching for, looking for. Initiation, yeah. Again. Okay. So I'm going to end this, but I'm, before I do, uh, I, again, this, this initiation by fire, uh, wisdom of the divine feminine. So there's definitely divine feminine energy working really strongly here with you right now. Mm, I must do. There it is. Initiation by fire is a life-changing spiritual cleansing. Your life will never be the same again. Allow the power of divine fire to clear and purify you inside and out. This is not a time to hold on to anything, no matter how much you once believed you needed it. And letting go, you will gain so much more than you ever imagined. Opening the fresh blessings of uh, and new life, you are, like the phoenix, ready to emerge from the holy flames reborn. A new life is a blessing, but that can't but that doesn't mean that it is easily won. Sometimes the process can be challenging to the mind, even whilst the heart trusts in what is taking place. Wherever ha yeah, wherever has been your stronghold in life, such as family, a marriage, job security, a talent, or something that you have used to define listen to this. Listen to this. Something that you have used. Uh oh. <laughs> Listen to this. Okay. I'm listening. <laughs> Low key. Design a, a sense of self will be where the fire burns brightest. Again, like I was saying. I'll, I'll read that again because it was all broken up. But again, where is it? Where are you? Show yourself. Yeah. Underneath. This restoring harmony is under is understanding this falsity that you have believed, this false self that you have been believing in, this false lie that has been planted inside of you. You know, this lie that has been planted inside of you. Okay, this false sense of needing to be something else. Whatever has been your stronghold in life, such as family, a marriage, job security, a talent, or something that you have used to define your sense of self will be where the fire burns brightest. Those areas will be transformed, letting go and allowing that to happen to the very parts of your life that you are most protective of. Ooh, can require deep faith. You have to remember that love is real so that you can hold on to your courage Come on now. The strength, this truth. Spirit is saying, hold on to this truth that is being given to you. You will need to use strength and the wisdom that you are being given. If it talks about a choice too, I'm like, dog. I'm <laughs> Come on now. Love is real that you can hold on to your courage whilst you let go and allow the divine to show to have its way. Remember that the power of fire is destructive only in part. It only stimulates rapid new growth. Healing will arise in wherever area is being transformed. It is not only an ending, but also a beginning. Yeah. This experience of invitation by fire in the <laughs> is the divine making its presence felt in your life. What did I say? Right? What did I say? Spirit, like God saying, like, oh, I'm a, I had to really show up and show out in your life. He's like, yeah, you got me, God. You really got me. I thought I was, thought I, for a second, I don't know. You had me on the fence. I was on the fence, but come on now. It will be one of the most freeing and empowering experiences you'll, uh, you'll have whilst in a physical body. Yeah, again, there's something here about your body. 
It may ask you to confront fears and insecurities as you learn to trust in the divine unconditionally. Come on now. Come on now. As you choose to have that faith, I know. I don't just have, I don't just believe I know. I have that unconditional faith and understanding. Know that the universe will always provide for you and always is in is in the way best, that is best for you. Even if you don't understand why it's happen, why it needs to happen this way, it does at the time. Keep yeah. So if even if you don't know why it's happening and you don't understand, have faith that this is why this is the way that it's supposed to be happening. Keep your eyes on your inner transformations that are occurring rather than fearing the outer changes. Exactly. So keep your mind on the positive and see how positively it is affecting you. Okay. The, the universe loves you and holds you in high regard. Remember this and trust. Initiation is an advanced spiritual lesson. Again, like I said, right? That's built. Oh, y'all, what's what is behind the is the devil? Come on, this is an intense karmic cycle here. Yeah, for some of you, this could be about breaking addictions, breaking codependencies. Absolutely. I'm hearing situational addictions, okay? Being addicted to certain patterns, addicted to certain situations, addicted to recreating certain situations and certain relationships. You are being honored by what is happening in your life right now. You are strong enough to get through it and thrive in a new into a new life like a radiant phoenix triumphantly emerging from the sacred fire. I'm, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, and again here, improve physical strength and vitality, increase endurance and passion, activate productivity and self-motivation. This There is going to be like this awakening. There is a cleansing and an awakening. It definitely could have here, especially if you're working with your masculine energy, family of light. You definitely, like your soul family is coming. I was just saying, especially if you're working with the masculine energy and look what's the divine masculine, power of the divine masculine. Come on now. Your soul family, your light beings, your your archangels, your spirit guides, like all of the guides and entities that you work with, they're they're working with you, collaborating very strongly with you right now. Star child, as well as your star family. They said, Don't forget about us. Definitely. Cosmic Christ, oh, cosmic heart, cosmic Christ again. Again, the divine masculine. Definitely strong. Yeshua energy, really strong here with somebody working to heal some kind of karmic masculine wound inside of you. Working really strong. Soul child, exactly. Working to heal your inner child. This is the spiritual decree, okay? This is what you're going to be working on next. Archangel Raphael, you might be working really closely with specifically Archangel Raphael as well. Healing your heart chakra, healing... healing Maybe even Archangel Sandal font working with like your root chakra. Paradigm shift. Look. It's to bring a paradigm shift. Yeah. And to bring devotion, to inspire devotion inside of you as well. Yeah. This is going to be a huge shift in your reality. Like it, it's a, a brand new foundation being, being laid. And, you know, like, uh, again, again, like why the tower moments happen to bring to bring about a whole new foundation, a whole a whole new choice, a whole new option to bring a, to bring about a whole new way of being a return to the true self. Wow. So foul. This is crazy. I love this. This is beautiful energy, you guys. <laughs> but there is a, there is like, I don't want to say a fear, but it's anxiety. I feel it. It's heavy on my, like on my chest. It's a heavy, this, like what's going to happen? How's it going to manifest? How's it going to work? Just relax and allow. Spirit is saying, just a lot, just relax and allow and know that the universe is, is, is crafting a very beautiful new life for you here. 
grounds again like i said in the very beginning ground through this energy ground through the changes stay try to stay as grounded as possible as all of these changes are occurring in your life and release negative thoughts exactly thank you spirit talk to these people spirit Develop your intuition, exactly. Use your psychic gift. I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, y'all are getting a real big upgrade to your psychic gifts. 54, 54, down on the clock. Release negative thoughts. Maintain attention on the present moment. Exactly. Pay attention to making the right decisions and doing what feels right, what feels good, what lifts you up, what brings light into your life, into the light of others right now, in this very moment. Just concentrate on, on the decision that you have at hand right now and keep step, stepping forward into the future, Okay. Like, it's okay. Spirit is saying, like, we're going to lay this path out in front of you. Increase a situational awareness. Improve uh, reasonable thoughts and actions. I almost kept saying responsible. Carnelian. Creative flows in me in myriad ways. Yeah, creativity. There's a lot that's going to be shifting and changing around. Okay? And that and it's, it's okay. Your, is your intuition is going to be activating... There are going to be things, right? Spirit says we've been through this before. Yeah, not only have you been through this before in past lives, but you've also probably experienced, if you're at this level of spiritual awakening, right? Like the like the handbook said, right? This initiation by fire is, is like a very advanced spiritual lesson that you're going down. So you definitely are upgrading your, your light worker abilities or upgrading your upgrading to like a new level a new level of your of your spiritual light contract release heartache grief and sorrows of past relationships again there is this releasing of the sorrow energy releasing of what is not yours encourage lightheartedness and joy restore the balance of confidence and emotions yeah. So if somebody here has been having issues like being out of their body, like disassociating and things like that, you definitely are going to be finding the right providers, the right medication or the right counseling, the right. You're going to be finding balance in your life. It's like, OK, when I eat these foods, when I take these medications, when I go see my therapist or when I go to this or when I go do this, when I do these activities, it brings so much love, so much more love and light and balance into my life. So that's where I'm going to focus my goals. My goals is to continue to raise my vibration. Focus on that. Don't focus on like as much of like. Yeah, spirit is like for the next few days, they really just want you to focus on like moving, you know, getting there one day at a time, one day at a time. They're trying, like spirit is saying, like they're trying not to overwhelm you or they're trying not to like, but there's going to be a lot of act, yeah, activation and in like activate intuition. Yeah, access. <gasps> I didn't even read further down on this card. No wonder Spirit kept pulling it up. Access the Akashic Records. Stay grounded. Feel protected and safe. Promote clarity in the dream time. I'm telling you, like, that's it. Absolutely. Read between the lines. Yeah. Release limiting beliefs. Yes, exactly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. That's what I have for you guys, okay? I hope this gave you the love, light, or clarity that you were looking for in your situation. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Wow, I really enjoyed doing this reading. Thank you guys so very much. If this resonated for you, let me know. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it. Share it if you feel like it could help somebody else. If this video didn't resonate with you, that's okay. Not every, not every one of these will. They're just general readings, okay? Um... If it doesn't resonate with you, check, check out another reading or check out another reader. I'm cool with it. Good luck out there in your path, okay? Um, thank you to your spirits, guardians, and guides for guiding you here to receive this information. Thank you to my spirits, guardians, and guides, ascended masters, and whatnot that helped me to uh, bring balance and um, help me to receive this information as well as relay it to you okay as well as keeping me safe while they do so i really appreciate you guys as always thank you for your time thank you for your energy thank you for your focus thank you for your donations thank you to my clients that work with me speaking of if you are drawn to me to get a personal reading from me a personal
personal work or personally work with me. My contact information is listed down below. Thank you so very much for being here as always. Love you guys very, very much. Okay. Be in your power. Yeah. Spirit says be in your power. It's going to be very critical, especially over the next like few days, specifically over the next like three to four days. Yeah. Increase healthy outlook on all levels, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. There's something here about going through a portal. It's really, it's really going to be very powerful. All right, you guys. I'm excited. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And I will see you lovelies in the next one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.